the back rooms. You've been here before. Entity number 74, Argos. P please I, I didn't know, and how am I supposed to know what, what law to follow? I am the law. Habitats, the back rooms. Argos usually stays in the headquarters, but once a hunt begins, he will chase his prey to any level or room. Image caption, image lost. Description, the Entity 74, Argos, has not been observed so far by any alive operative of the Meg. The only known subjects with direct evidence of his existence, as well as the evidence itself, disappeared. The information presented has been collected from various files that make reference to this mythical figure. For this reason, it is noted that this entity may be being overestimated or underestimated. Entity 74 has the appearance of a tall humanoid who wears tactical clothing under a ragged black cloak and wields a strange spear. The origin of this entity, like that of many others, is unknown, although it is known that his antiquity dates back to at least 500 years, although it seems that even then he already possessed a large amount of knowledge about the backrooms. Even so, the testimonies and evidence about his existence were very scarce. That is why it was thought that Argos was a legend, a mythical being being created by the eyes of Argos. This perspective changed after the events that occurred in the Log 1523. According to these reports, the entity Argos doesn't have any problem to move through the backrooms, so it can be found at almost all levels. Behaviors Argos is the self-proclaimed judge of the backrooms. Due to this, he has taken the quest, together with his subordinates, to hunt down all the sinners that they can. He is brutal, and so far, only one person is known to have managed to survive being chased by this entity. Revision. All his known prey have been killed slash punished. He is known to act according to some kind of code called the law, which is believed to have been written by himself. When someone performs a truly heinous action, Argos goes hunting to kill or punish this target. This also means that Argos is prohibited from killing someone who is quote-unquote innocent to his eyes. It is not known if this is due to his own nature or a self-imposed oath. Biology Very little is known about the operation of this entity. Although it has a humanoid appearance, its capabilities surpass those of an ordinary human. Regarding his physical capabilities, he has increased stamina, speed, and strength. In addition to this, his level of planning and strategic knowledge imply that he has an above average intelligence. Some reports also talk about how he seemed to ignore the pain and how his wounds healed faster than they should. There is also reports of a true vision that allows him to see through all kinds of deceptions and hallucinations. Meg Operative Paxton described it as, quote, if thousands of eyes were watching him. It is unknown if this ability has something to do with how Argos is able to detect sinners with relative precision, although it is what's believed. Discovery For a long time, the entity Argos and its Knights of Terror were a myth, a story that was told to newbies to scare them and control them a bit. Of course, the quote-unquote bad people disappeared little by little, because Argos was trying to stop the control. Everything was confirmed, however, when Redacted reached Base Omega. The events that this triggered are found in Log 1523. In order to protect Redacted from the eyes of Argos, all information about him and his current position has been deleted. Open Log 1523. Interrogatory of the subject, Redacted. 12-03-20XX. Miles. Calm down, and let's start again. We are recording now. Redacted. Pfft. Where do I start? Miles. Mm, why don't you start with your sin? Redacted. <laughs> My sin? Miles. Come on, guy. We heard you screaming, I'm not a sinner! While well, you ran towards us. Redacted. Oh, well that. Um, yes, I... I killed two guys. Well, I wouldn't say it was murder. It was... Miles. You killed two guys. Redacted. Yes, I... I did it in self-defense, I swear it. Miles, quote, Day 16, I found another group. They are only two. 
This time should be easy. End quote. Should I keep reading? Redacted. Um, well, there is no reason to lie then. Miles, we know what you did. Seven murders, huh? Never thought I'd see anything like that. But let's move on to the important thing. Tell me. Tell me about that man. Redacted. Well, this... It had been a few days. I don't know. I was out there just wandering, planning what to do, and after that... And suddenly, I felt observed. Miles. Sorry, what level did you say you were at? Redacted. Oh, yeah, on level two. The one with the white walls and Miles. Yes, we know what level two is. Continue, please. Redacted. Yes, sir. Okay, so... You know that feeling, right? You are alone, and suddenly you have the need to turn back. Many times there is nothing there, but this time... This time it was much worse, as if being watched from everywhere. Thousands of eyes focused on me. Miles, do you need a break before continuing? Redacted. Oh, no, no, no. I can continue. So, there he was. I thought I was going to see an army, but it was only one man. He was wearing a military suit. No, a tactical suit. I'm not sure because he was wearing a cloak over it. I won't lie, he looked amazing, like a ghost in the dark. And then, when he walked, the strips of his cloak... Miles. Focus, please. Redacted. Wait, I can show you. I, I have it right here. Oh, and also, I recorded our conversation. Only a part of it, at least. Miles. You what? Redacted. When you're close to death, you think strange things. At least that's what people say. Here it is. Look. Miles. I don't think anyone says that, but... Five minutes later. Redacted. So yeah, that was the man who chased me, and I think he is still out there. Miles. That doesn't explain how you escaped. How did you get here? What happened after the abrupt ending of the recording? Redacted. Oh, well, I just no-clipped. Yeah, I just no-clipped through the floor, and then I ended up in this level. Miles. You just no-clipped. Redacted. Yes, I just no-clipped. It seems that it misled him a bit, because it took him a while to find me here. Although, by the time he did, I was already very close to here. Miles, I don't believe anything you say, but that's all for today. We'll continue with the interrogation tomorrow. Redacted. Continue with the interrogation? Tomorrow? Miles. Oh, of course, I forgot. Welcome to Base Omega, your new home. Redacted. My new what? End of recording. Update. The day, date censored, the Meg Officer Miles and the subject, Redacted, disappeared along with all the evidence collected regarding Argos. Only an audio fragment could be recovered. Vidi files. Files. The following are documents that refer to the entity Argos. The date of most of them is unknown. But, according to some investigations, they must date from the founding of the Lost. Recording from slash slash redacted slash slash device. The following recording was recovered from the subject redacted during log 1523. Most of it was lost during the infiltration that occurred on Date Censored. Only the fragment shown below is saved. Argos, you have committed a great sin. Redacted, w wh what are, are you talking about? Argos, a double murder in cold blood. Redacted, I don't know what you're talking about. Argos, redacted, leave me, leave me alone. Argos, I saw it. Redacted, redacted. How, how do you know my name? Argos, you saw the opportunity, and you killed them. Isn't that what happened? Redacted. Um, uh, redacted. Stay away from me, you're insane. Running noises. Something hits the ground. Argos, you can't escape me. I can see you. I can see everything. Redacted. Ah! Argos, it hurts, doesn't it? Normally, I would give you a clean death. That's what my honor dictates. Redacted. Hyperventilating. Argos. But seven murders. My sin hunters are gonna have fun with you, boy. Redacted. I- I'm- Argos. Huh? What? Excerpt. Slash slash unnamed file. Slash slash. When we first found him, it was just amazing. We found ourselves surrounded by unimaginable creatures. We believed, some of us believe, we were in hell. And then we find him. A ray of light, a ray of hope. Oh, how wrong we were. At first, he was good to us. He helped us. I think, I think he was surprised to see us. That surprise did not last long. We called him Telama Lehuka Tinales Lee. Justice. Many believed he was a god. Some still believe it. A god of balance, a god of justice. 
Sounds good, until justice falls on you. One day, everything changed. We took him to the temple. We wanted to teach him our customs, so we prepared a sacrifice. It seems that he did not like our offering very much. And then, he started killing us. A shadow of death. That's the only way I can describe it. He was fast, faster than anything we've ever seen. Strong, stronger than all our men put together. And tough, of course. He could withstand the attack of our warriors for a while. In the end, we managed to chase him away. We outnumbered him, after all. Since then, we have been vigilant, in case one day we see him again. The one in black clothes. A god, not of justice, but of death. Report 12. Marcus. The following document was recovered from a hard drive found in what appeared to be a faction's base of operations. The site was found in ruins, and there were clear signs of a confrontation. AIRP, American Institute for the Research of Paranormality. They are close, very close. Every day that passes, I feel them breathing down our necks. Although we have been moving, they have managed to find all our bases, even the most secret ones. We have lost many of our members. The base Saturn and Pluto no longer exist. We managed to save some of the members, but I don't know how long we can last here. I need support. Ramundas can't leave half the organization just like that. But let's get to the important thing, the report. As I imagined, our investigations in the Angel Fields were at least fruitful, although it cost us quite a bit of time, and we were delayed due to some issues. We found another tablet. We still can't decipher their language, true, or close, I can feel it, but even so, the iconography is invaluable. The drawings portray a god in armor with a sword in hand, not a half-naked god, not a soldier equipped for war, a knight in shining armor. This probably does not mean much to you, but believe me, it is a very important step in our theories, as we know that most likely what we know as level zero was not the entry point for the ancients. It is also possible that the same entities have evolved over time. According to what we have studied, there is a group of special entities that we would call archetypal entities. Note, see Phenomenon 10. If we are correct, this being would represent justice and would adapt over the years to what humans see as justice. We still don't know if this relates to his soldiers, but it is a step in the right direction. The full dossier is in the files attached to this report. I know that communications are not stable, and that even if they were, not all of us work on the same projects, but I need confirmation. It is imperative that we pass this information to the next phase. If it is lost, if they kill us, no, it won't happen. However, I need you to pass this report to Ray. If not, we will have to act on our own. Access dossier. Corrupted data. Signed, Marcus Nilsson, Entity Research Team Leader. Input security credentials. Welcome. The following information has been hidden to maintain confidence in the security of our facilities with regard to our public image. The day, date redacted. Five unknown subjects, presumably members of the Eyes of Argos, infiltrated the Base Omega, assassinated Meg Operative Miles, and the subject, redacted. In addition, they also got rid of another seven operatives who had come into contact with the two information, and together with them, possessed crucial information regarding the entity and its organization. The subjects also destroyed all the public evidence of the organization, resulting in the loss of the images and most of the recordings from which only fragments could be recovered. The power that the Eyes of Argos have over us, and to what extent they can stop the actions we carry out on them, is unknown. But, due to the history of termination of factions they have, the team overseer has declared that all investigation operations regarding this entity must stop until further notice. Do's and don'ts. Do. There is not much that can be done once Argos is after you, because he only goes after the worst criminals. You can only flee. To prevent this, the only thing you can do is try to lead a righteous life. If you have committed a sin, try to make up for it with a good action. Don't. Finding this entity is very difficult, but if you do, never interrupt one of his hunts. Disturb him whilst he is searching for a sinner. 
especially if you are a sinner yourself. Somehow be noticed by him if you have committed a sin and haven't made it up. Don't. Finding this entity is very difficult, but if you do, never interrupt one of his hunts. Disturb him whilst he is searching for a sinner, especially if you are a sinner yourself. Somehow be noticed by him if you have committed a sin and haven't made it up. 